the flexible widget. In this example, we will create three flexible widgets inside a column. And you can see that the flexible widget is doing absolutely nothing if the inner widget have a certain height. But now if we remove every height of each container, you will see that the flexible will be used. And we define how many space each flexible take by using the flex argument. Five is bigger than three, so the flexible five will be bigger than this one. And if you want, you can convert a flexible widget into an expanded widget. First, let's re-add every height of each of them. Next, I will add the argument fit, flex fit, for each flexible widget. And now you will see this is acting as an expanded widget. The expanded widget will always take as much place as possible, even if the inner widget have a certain height. And now I will show you visually what is the difference between the expanded and the flexible. I've just replaced everything with three different rows. The first one have an expanded and a flexible, and you can see how the application is displaying both of them. If you have two expanded, this is how it will look. And if you have two flexible, this is how it will look. I hope this example helped you to understand what is the difference between the expanded and the flexible widget.